This is your professor, Dr. K, and welcome to the Spiritual Awakening University. Welcome to the Spiritual University, where we share hidden knowledge and we set each other free. I'm the spirit filled with wisdom, vision of divine sight. Mentally, I'm intuitive, so just get your mind right. Yeah, welcome to the spiritual university where we share hidden knowledge and we set each other free. I'm the spirit filled with wisdom, vision of divine sight. Mentally, I'm intuitive, so just get your mind right. Grand Rise, Grand Evening. Grand afternoon, wherever you are on the planet, grand rise to you. Welcome to the Spiritual Awakening University. Esoteric knowledge for the chosen 144,000. Okay. okay, so now the title of this um, broadcast is called This is focused on my PhD, what I got my PhD in. This broadcast is for all independent artists. It's called Music Artist Strategies to Generate Revenue Through Technology. That's also the title of my PhD right here. We're going to be going over those strategies. Um, my dissertation is published. You can find me online. All you have to do is go to Google Scholar, type in music artist strategies to generate revenue through technology, and you'll get this dissertation right here. You might have to pay for it though, because it is published and it's in the U.S. Um, Library of Congress. So this is for all independent artists. If you aspire to be an independent artist one day, you know, or if you're an artist right now, this broadcast could really help you, okay? Now, yeah, that 8 8 portal, that's that Lions Gate portal, right? And as you guys can see right here, we got Orula, who is the priest of Ifa. You know what I mean? I'm a priest of Anu, you know, as a more. We have the priest of Ifa right here, so we're bringing in some of his energy. You can, um, you can wipe him down like this, you know? Wipe him off. You know, so we're bringing in his energy. And of course, you know, we want to bring in those four elements. We want to start off the frequency by bringing in the four elements. So I have the water right here and the chalice. Cheers to the chosen ones. freedom and justice, highest principles known to man. You know, I'm going to put that right there. And of course, we got the magic wand to for the air sign, ward off any negative energies, you know. I'm an air sign. So these are symbols, symbols for the divine. Of course, we got that feather of my eye right here because we want our heart to be as light as a feather, you know. We don't want all the negativity in the world to harden our hearts and have us have prejudice again. elements right brought in that 
Directions, right? Four directions. We got north, east, south, and west. I would say north, east, south, and west. So I brought it in the four directions. Now, we, oh, let me do the. Let me hit the healing bow. Brought it in the north. Brought it in the east. In the south, we brought in the west. I say, I say, I say, oh, to the four directions. The original cross, how we cross the seas, travels of the ocean. Give me your Yeah. Now we're going to bring in the quadrinity, right? We're going to bring in the divine mother, bring in the divine father.
ten, six foot. Okay, six foot. Yellow Nigerian outfit. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into this mantra. So stay tuned to the Spiritual Awakening University. It's Dr. K. I got my crystals on. You see me? Stay tuned. We're gonna get into this mantra right now. Peace fam, it's Dr. K back at you about to do this uh, money mantra right here. So if you're trying to get your dollars up, definitely want to tune in to this. So we're going to say this three times for the power of the three, six, and the nine. And you know, we learned that from the homie Rashad, sending respect, divine insight, uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice to you. And positive energy always creates elevation. You see, I got my crystals on, staying real positive. Now we're going to do this money mantra, okay? Yeah, so you see I got the yellow candle back lit, you know, I'm going to spray some of this ruler spray in the air, you know what I'm saying, so you can have the power of ruler around us, you know what I'm saying, he's the Arisha of divinity, you know what I mean, to protect our divination, and as you can see, I have the magic stone right here, I have the uh, labradorite crystal right here, you see that, that's the magic stone, that's the magician stone right there, labradorite. So yeah, we keep it that right there too to protect our magic. But right now we're gonna do this money formula. So I'm gonna say this three times, okay? Three times, here we go. Here we go. Money, money, crystallize, stream right now into my hand. Golden sun within me rise. Let abundance take a stand. Let there be the transmutation of financial constipation. Great success now comes along. Sing with me, prosperity song. Doubt and spirit and cancellation. Gold now fills my situation. With all my heart, I thank you, Lord. All I want, I can't afford. It not only be for me, all the world be rich and free. Love and peace and truth abound. In my life, the world around. In my hands, be ceaseless action. Bringing wealth and satisfaction. With God vision and reflection. See my money's resurrection. No more to be without. No more worry, feel, fear, or doubt. Gold for me is everywhere. And with all I ever share, let good fortune go before me, right beside me and behind me. All with money now adore me, with gold and emeralds they adorn me. Here's the vision I and I see, my love has brought me out. Oh yes, it does exist for me, the angels have now set me free. Money, money crystallized, stream right now into my hand. Golden sun within me rise, let abundance take a stand. Let there be the transmutation of financial constipation. Sing with me prosperity song. Um, great success now come along. Doubt and fear to cancellation. Gold now fills my situation. With my heart I thank you Lord. All I want I can't afford. It not only be for me, all the world be rich and free. Love and peace and truth abound. In my life, the world around. In my hands be ceaseless action. resurrection no more to be without no more worry fear or doubt gold for me is everywhere and with all I ever share let good fortune go before me right beside me and behind me all with money now adore me with golden emeralds they adore me here's the vision I now see my love has brought reality oh yes it does exist for me the angels have now set me free last time Money, money crystallize, stream right now to my hand. Golden sun within me rise, let abundance take a stand. Let there be the transmutation of financial constipation. Great success now come along, sing with me prosperity song. Doubt and fear to cancellation, gold now fills my situation. With my heart I thank you for it, all I want I can't afford. It not only be for me, all the world be rich and free. Love and peace and truth abound. In my life, the world around. In my hands be ceaseless action. Bringing wealth and satisfaction. With God vision and reflection. See my money's resurrection. No more to be without. No more worry, fear, or doubt. Gold for me is everywhere. And with all I ever share. Let good fortune go before me. Right beside me and behind me. 
all with money now adore me. The golden emeralds, they adorn me. Here's the vision I now see. My love has brought reality. Oh yes, it does exist for me. The angels have now set me free. I say, I say, I say, oh. Spiritual Awakening University is Dr. Kalebu Kumar right back at you. Right now what we're going to do, we're going to get into this seven minute meditation. Seven minute meditation with a ruler, the rich of divination. So, brought in the good vibes. Now we're going to meditate, then we're going to get into... Keep trying to light it. You know, we out here in the wind, so Oya is doing her thing. She's the Risha of the market. I just went to the farmer's market uh, today, too, giving me some good little fruits for my smoothies that I use. So, yeah, we're going to do a seven minute meditation. You know, whatever um, mudra you use, you know, for the solar plexus, I believe it's this, like this. So, channel into the solar plexus, seven minutes starting now.
That should be about, that's almost seven minutes. So yeah, that's our seven minute meditation right there. I hope y'all feeling good. Thank y'all for still tuning in with me if you're still here. You know what I'm saying? I say, I say, I say. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell y'all how I um, became an independent artist. This was about 10 years ago. I figure um, since we meditated, we're feeling good now. We got them good solar chakra vibes. And I could um, give y'all a little history on how I became an artist. So um, I was working at LAX. I was like a, um, working for this taxi cab company where you know you help people get a taxi at LAX. I had just lost my job. Um, my fiance at the time, she was moving to Houston, Texas. So you know I'm about to lose my girl. I damn near had lost everything. But I was looking on Craigslist. You hear that airplane go by? We're gonna let that airplane go by first. Helicopter, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I had lost my fiance, I lost my job. I was looking on Craigslist, I found this organization, and they were like, oh, do you have inspirations of becoming an independent artist? Well, we'll give you all the tools you need to be successful. And I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to try that. So I went to the organization and, uh, you know, it, they had studio equipment there. And the goal was for each independent artist to create an EP, five song EP. And uh, we would promote ourselves in the community as a fundraiser. So I got really good at that. I was promoting myself. I was the number one fundraiser in the organization. And um, when I had lost my job, you know, I, I ended up having to sleep in my car for three months because uh, my, um, my, my mom at the time, she didn't approve of me becoming an artist, you know, so I had to sacrifice. I slept in my car for three months, finally got me an apartment because I was monitoring my credit. And uh, yeah, I've been an artist for the past 10 years, you know. Um, the organization that I was with, they went out of business, but I learned a lot from them. And I was able to start kind of my own little small record label. It's called Sounds Awesome. So that's what this um, podcast is about. It's about music artist strategies to generate revenue through technology. That's what I wrote my dissertation on. Um, that's what I got my PhD. That's how. I, that's what I used to get my PhD based on my experience as an independent artist. So we're about to get into that right now. Stay tuned. Dr. K back at you, the doctor of the music industry. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go into some books um, that you guys, that I'm going to recommend for independent artists before we get into this discussion on the music industry, okay? We're going to go into some books that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the best book of all, which is my book, Music Artist Strategy to Generate Revenue Through Technology. And you can get that off of ProQuest, which is a publishing um, company. They help PhD students publish their dissertations, Music Artist Strategies to Generate Revenue Through Technology. That's the first book I'm going to recommend. Then, here's a book right here, All You Need to Know About the Music Business by Donald S. Passman. This is supposed to be pretty good also. Okay. The Art of Music Publishing by Helen Gammons. You know, some book recommendations for independent artists. Music Publishing, The Complete Guide by Win Wingratsky and Lowry, okay? Stephen Wingratsky and David Lowry. And I got this new book right here, The Screenwriter's Journey from Starting Out to Breaking In by Highwell Berry, okay? Now these are some books that I'm recommending for the class. You guys can go out, you can get that on Amazon. You know, Amazon almost has anything. So you can get that from Amazon, okay? Now let's get into the discussion. Music artist strategies to generate revenue through technology. Okay, now um, the the theory that I use because you have to pick out a theory when you write a dissertation. The theory that I use was called um, configuration theory, and a configuration 
um, just you know by my definition is combining two things together like you're good at this I'm good at that we're gonna work together and we're gonna achieve superior performance but this is what it says in my dissertation configuration theory how firms share a set of strategies structures and goals as a collective rather than individually okay it also explains the u using strategy structure and the environment to identify patterns all right now, I want to give you guys a few hip-hop terms. I want to go over a few hip-hop terms that I used in my dissertation, all right? Let me go to it, page six. Hip-hop terms, it's just some operational definitions, okay? That's what they are, operational definitions, okay? 360 deal, a way of monetizing a record label's relationship with an artist through the record label participating in and receiving income from a range of musical activities beyond the sales of recordings. Okay, brand personality, a set of associations or characteristics that can affect the consumer's decision making. Okay, hip hop culture, shared fashion, music, dance, art, attitude, language, and experiences of anyone who participates in or consumes at least one of the four elements of hip hop: rapping, MCing, break dancing. Graffiti art and DJing, okay? Niche music, a kind of music that has a smaller market of intrigued shoppers and that gains audience through web based social networking or suggestions through online music destinations, okay? Self congruity, actual ideal or social connections with brand personality where musicians can influence an individual and can lead to positive attitudes towards a brand. Small business, based on the number of employees or the measure of annual receipts the business has. Viral marketing, the relationship between buzz marketing, word of mouth marketing, and online marketing. So those are some operational definitions that I used in my dissertation. But now we're gonna go over the seven strategies that artists use um, to generate revenue through technology. And I'm gonna go through them individually, just so, it, because if I just go over all seven of them, you had an ice cream truck out there. If I give you all seven of them, then there's no need for you to watch the rest of the video. So I'm just gonna go over one at a time, all right? So the first strategy, the first strategy that you wanna have is you wanna have a marketing budget, okay? You need marketing money and a budget to promote yourself on the internet, okay? You have to brand yourself on the internet as a strategy to generate revenue visual aspect when people see the logo like when people see your logo that's that's a visual aspect so your brand and your logo you want you might want to write those two down okay posting consistently on social media several times a day having a recognizable logo helps differentiate yourself from other artists you know like the death row logo everybody is familiar with that with the guy in the uh, in the death chair and he has the bag over his head Four themes include branding, having a personal website. You can check my website out, soundsawesomerecords.com. Having a publicist or public relations and live performances. And I want you guys to keep in mind, for my dissertation, I had to interview six different artists. So the themes that came up, these seven themes, those are the themes that the artists discussed. You know, and I had to put it in the statistical software called SPSS, and these are the answers that were repetitive from the artists, okay? So, through live performances, you can build relationships with booking agents to drive record and merchandise sales. Public relations practitioners help music artists develop a relationship with the general public. Public relations professionals seek coverage from journalists and bloggers to draw attention to the concerns that organizations feel are important and to deliver essential company messages to the general public, okay? So that's the importance of having the publicist, you know, they can connect you with the people. Their job is to provide information, subsidies to journalists and the media. Bloggers have an influential part in the music industry by breaking news, discussing news, and being cited in the traditional media, which makes them a critical stakeholder group for public relations professionals to work with. Branching off into TV and film or 
other great strategies artists can use to help brand themselves. Artists should take acting classes. Film and licensing is the way to go now if artists want to make money. So I just want to comment on that, having a marketing budget. Um, I recently transformed my garage into a music studio, film studio. You know, this is the outside. Uh, this is just the backyard, but I usually film in the in the garage. This is my first time filming outside. So um, I recently created a budget for myself. You know, got some camera equipment. I'm getting into TV and film. Just did my first music video yesterday. Check that out on YouTube. It's called Meditation Music by Chaotic the King. Or you can follow me if you already follow me. Thank you for liking the video. If you shared it or if you watched it, you know. I edited the video, got some editing software. So because of my um, experience working at the nonprofit as an artist 10 years ago, I was finally able to, I have about 70 songs. This is my first music video because when you're an independent artist, you have to do everything yourself. You have to make your own beats. On, on a couple of my albums, I made all the beats. I just got a producer. I just found like two producers. So it is all about networking. Also, it's all about who you know. Um, I just got this new camera and um, I got a Mac Studio so you know my software is better my equipment is better I have more resources and uh, because I, I was able to create a budget for myself to afford these items that's why I'm able to do a little more as an independent artist how I'm doing these videos right now I'm trying to give the game back to you guys so if there's other independent artists out there who you know need some help you can watch this video you can share this video and um, hopefully this gives you some clarity all right because I struggled as an independent artist. You know, nobody really uh, gave me. Well, they, I did get some help though, but the organization I was with, they went out of business in a year because they had a 7,000 square foot facility and the rent was $5,000 a month. So, of course, they're not gonna be able to afford that. For too long. Okay, so that, that's the first strategy. You wanna have a marketing budget. The second strategy you wanna do is social media, okay? Facebook marketing. Talk to people directly on Facebook. Artists should put out new content every single day. You can go to a fan page on Facebook. I have my own fan page, Chaotic the Hustler, or Chaotic. You know, you can check me out on Facebook. Facebook is the most popular, popular social media app. Social media allows artists to build relationships with their fans. YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook offer a means for consumers to connect and engage with their brands. Record labels, PR firms, and consultants can help artists with their social media platforms, but active social media profiles are critical for creating secure connections with fans and for encouraging productive fan communities. Social media allows consumers to make and trade user-generated content. You also have to facilitate and grow your audience. If you don't promote your page, you won't make any money. Get your play count up and your number of followers so it helps when an artist is presenting to record labels. Having a broader audience helps music artists reach out to more people to help them generate sales. Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram are the three most popular social media sites. Twitter and LinkedIn are a few other popular ones. Advertising strategies on Instagram Instagram prioritizes images, so you can use Instagram as an advertising strategy. Other social media strategies include staying consistent, viral marketing, going viral is really important, being creative, using psychology, facilitating your webpage, let's let the ice cream truck go by, hold on. I don't know if they stopped it. Taking visual pictures and using FaceTime or going live, okay? Having access to a smartphone. You definitely want to have the newest phone, okay? Three activities to upgrade the appeal of an artist's brand. Sampling music. Following music artists. Who's your favorite artist? You might want to follow them. They, they might follow you back, okay? Remarking on an artist's social media networking site. Gain attention from record companies through your popularity on social media. So the more popular you are, the better chances that you have in, you know, getting signed by a regular. Okay? 
It's all about how famous an artist is and how popular a song is. Content is also important. Developing creative content is a strategy music artists are using to generate revenue from the internet. YouTube is the most popular video service and the third most popular internet service used by 758 million users around the world every month. YouTube promotes an artist's music videos, you know? And I just created a music video yesterday. I'm telling you, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. Meditation Music is off the prophecy. I'm about to have at least seven music videos in the next couple months. So I'm working on the next one, Spiritual Journey, sometime this week, all right? Customer retention is a challenge on social media because somebody may listen to a song one time, but getting them to continue to listen is a challenge. Podcasting is another strategy, okay? This is like my podcast right here. One artist said she had over 20 podcasts in her studio. Hootsuite allows an artist to post once and it goes on multiple platforms. So yeah, social media is important. I have Facebook, YouTube. I don't really be on Twitter that much. I have an Instagram. I don't have a lot of followers though. So, you know, that may be an area I need to improve on. Um, I have almost 5,000 Facebook friends, but I don't really interact with a lot of people. You know, I get some shares here and there. Facebook is the most popular. I think you have to get more, uh, like they say, you have to get more direct and personal. You know, you might have to talk to somebody in the, in the inbox. So, yeah, I might start reaching out to people like that. Okay, now let's go to the third strategy. The third strategy is recording studio sessions. Recording studio sessions, okay? Now, in order to record, it, it could cost you about, it may cost you $75 an hour for recording and engineering, but you could have access to a green screen room to create music video. So, depending on where you record, you could, you might be able to get a music video also. I have a friend in Las Vegas. Um, he does mixing and mastering. He's an engineer, and he also does some, um, music videos for the artists too when they go record you know when they get that mixing and mastering on they could get a music video so i have a studio where i use logic pro x and um, i have a newman microphone and um i can create my songs and i can just go in there and record and i can mix and master on logic that's called a digital audio workstation but this is more just for me you know it's not for everybody like i'm not about to have a whole bunch of people over here it's just gonna be me recording Okay. Now, recording studios, hold on, I'm gonna let this, this helicopter go by. You know, we are in South Central, so you may hear some police sirens. I know you just heard the ambulance. I know you just heard the uh, fire truck and the uh, ice cream truck. So there's a lot of activity, you know, that goes on over here. All right? Ghetto bird in the sky, but they leave it right now. Okay, recording studios are a gathering space where music artists can collaborate, network, and learn from each other. You usually need an invitation from the studio owner, the primary engineer, or the producer. Or you can have your own DAW, which is a digital audio workstation. I use Logic Pro X, okay? DAWs make it fast and easy for editing and quickly getting from one single track to the next and getting ideas down before an artist loses them. Pro Tools, Logic, Fruity Loops, and Reasons were the four programs that most artists said they were using, okay? Lander, which is L-A-N-D-R, allows an artist to send a track to a mastering studio after they finish mixing, and Lander will master it for you. The DAW is a tape recorder inside of an artist's computer where an artist can break down multiple tracks and they can get plugins, which are all the software components that add specific features to a computer program. And then iPads released the mobile audio workstation. So yeah, definitely uh, you want to have recording studio sessions. Um, the 7,000 square foot facility I was in, they had a, they had a nice recording studio. They had a producer, and um, they had an engineer also. So you know, I created my songs. The producer gave me some beats. They had two studios. One, it was Studio A and Studio B. So, 
definitely you want to um, having a recording studio where a producer is an engineer that's definitely advantageous to you you know even if you have a partnership with a producer that's good Okay, but I have my own studio though. Like I said, I um, converted my garage into a music studio, film studio, because I was trying to be creative like Jeff Bezos did Amazon. All right? Now, the fourth strategy that you want to use, okay? Now, let me get an eye shape for them three strategies. Though. Okay, you want to have a marketing budget. Okay? You want to do social media. And you want to have you guys my problem statement too hold on let me see if I can find it this is in my dissertation this is this is important research question okay hold on okay my research question the overarching research question was what technology and marketing strategies do some small business music artists use to generate sales revenue from the internet so I just gave you guys three of them now we got four more Digital distribution, all right? Let's talk about digital distribution, all right? I use CD Baby, okay? But you can also use services like DistroKid or TuneCore, and they will distribute all your music across all major platforms, so it's easy to get on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, Amazon, Apple Music, and other digital music outlets, okay? Now, I haven't really gotten a lot of streams on Spotify. I don't even have that many listeners, you know? I changed my artist name from Chaotic the Hustler to Chaotic the King, so that might be a reason why, but Spotify doesn't really pay artists. I think you get like .002 cent per stream, so I didn't really use the Spotify um, strategy, but that's what's taking over the music industry right now, so that was one of the main reasons I wanted to create this um, why I made my dissertation because Spotify just, you know, it really hurt a lot of artists. But, you know, things change and, you know, things evolve and, you know, that definitely revolutionized the music industry. Okay? So, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Parand Pandora, Amazon, Apple Music, you know, the, the digital distribution company, they distribute all your music um, to these platforms and that's a way for you to get paid. Okay, digital distribution permits a qualification between offline channels, stores, and online channels, web stores. Spotify is one of the most major streaming outlets right now. SoundCloud, hold on. SoundCloud is a social audio platform that grants users the ability to create and share sounds across the web. CDs and downloads are not the way artists make money in today's society. Okay, now when I first came out, um, to, around 2012, I was selling CDs. I was selling my own CD, and that's what I did to survive. You know, that's one of the ways why um, I was able to get like a, a room for the night, or else I'd be homeless. So I was hustling real hard. That's one of the names. Why my artist name. That's one of the reasons my artist name is Chaotic the Hustler, you know, because I started off hustling, studying for my master's degree, um, believing in this dream, and 10 years later, I've advanced a little bit. I mean, it took me 10 years to get a music video. It wasn't like I wasn't trying to get one, but I just started being more creative, you know, so definitely have to have a creative aspect with your marketing budget, too. That and creativity go hand in hand, all right? Now, um, a lot of people don't have CD players anymore, not even in their car. Now, CDs, digital downloads, and music streaming, those are strategies that some artists use to generate revenue and some artists don't use. Some people still like CDs because it allows them to have a physical product in their hand and they get to see the artwork and things like that. Okay? Now, Sound Exchange collects royalties from artists from just got a sound exchange account. It's a performance rights organization that administers sound recording copyright royalties in the, in the United States. If your music is playing on an internet radio station, this gets you paid. Okay? 
Africa, Sound Exchange tracks digital streams for artists. Sound Exchange is an independent nonprofit organization that helps protect the interests of recording artists through advocacy efforts and the collection and distribution of royalties to members. Okay, so sound exchange is important. You know, if your if your music is going to be played on an internet radio station, you definitely want to get paid for that. So you need to sign up with sound exchange. All right, and then another way, I'm going to throw in a but a bonus. Another way that artists really generate revenue is through live performances. You know. You want to try to get some shows or some tours or some booking, you know, get you a booking agent that can, you know, have you open up for some uh, major artists, you know, that could definitely help you out too, those live performances, all right? Now, the sixth strategy that artists use to generate revenue is music licensing. Getting a license deal for your music can help you generate funds. Film or television show can borrow two of these rights. The actual recording of the song, which is the master license, and the right to use the underlying components that support the master. The song license, which is the content of the song, lyrics, and music. Music licensing is when many entities such as broadcast radio, television stations, digital music providers, bars, retail stores, and restaurants publicly perform copyrighted music and must pay royalties to artists. Okay, now there's three performance rights organizations that you can use to collect your publishing, all right? Or your royalties. These are ASCAP, that's who I use right there, which is the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. Okay, I got all my albums um, published under ASCAP, so if anybody tries to steal my music, you know, or if anybody play my music, I'm gonna have to get paid. Then you have CSAC, which is the Society of European Stage Authors and Composers. Then you have BMI, which is Broadcast Music Inc. Songwriters and composers contract with music publishing companies to administer the copyrights for their musical works. Music publishers are responsible for licensing and promoting the copyrighted musical work to third parties and collecting royalties. Publishers help you generate funds. YouTube has monetization, which are advertisements that show up in an artist's video. You need a large viewership on YouTube to get fully compensated. So you need like hundreds of thousands of views or maybe even millions then. Sync licensing is how artists make money from people using their song in their video. Okay, so monetization and synchronization are two strategies artists can use to generate funds. You can also sign with a record label to administer your sound recording copyrights and the record label owns the sound recording copyright. In exchange, the record label will pay the artist a royalty based on a portion of the revenue generated from the sales and licenses of the sound recording. Copyrights protect music artists. Digital stamps are a new form of copyright. So if you guys don't know, I do have my own record label. It's called Sounds Awesome Records. You can check me out online, www dot sounds awesome records dot com um, been in business for you know about eight years um, I have about five albums my last album is the prophecy the first album that I put under my label was um, grass to riches 14 track mixtape where I made all the beats you know mixed and mastered it myself you can check that out online all my music is available on all platforms just look up chaotic the hustler or you can look up chaotic the king I got four albums out I got a new album coming out, 2023. Be on the lookout for that. That's going to be called Morpheus, M-O-O-R-P-H-E-U-S. So be on the lookout for that. Okay? Now the last strategy, you know, then we're going to be finished. You know, let me give you our performance, a little small performance. The last strategy is corporate sponsorships, okay? Snoop Dogg is sponsored by... Corona beer. I'm pretty sure you guys seen Snoop Dogg, the Snoop Dogg Corona commercials. Nipsey had a deal with Puma. Tupac used to promote St. Ives beer, him and Snoop, and Carl Kanai, Versace. So he's being sponsored by all these major brands. Brand name placements and song lyrics might be on the rise because more and more marketers seek partnerships with artists after having observed increased brand awareness of brand sales for products mentioned in their songs. 
so the late and great Pop Smoke, rest in peace, he made Amiri jeans really popular. Before he was rapping about it, I don't think too many people were wearing Amiri. Mike Amiri, Mike Amiri, Billy Jean, Billy Jean. We we thought he we thought he was saying something else. Michael Mary or Michael Berry. We didn't even know. He's saying Mike Amiri. Mike Amiri, the jeans. And unfortunately, him being sponsored by them is one of the reasons for his demise. So sometimes you gotta be aware of these, you know, corporate sponsorship. Alright? So Pop Smoke was promoting Dior too. That's one of his most famous songs. Christian Dior, Dior. I'm up in all the stores. Do, 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 do. When it rains, it pours. She like the way I Michael Mary, Michael Mary. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Christian Dior, Dior. I'm up in all the stores. Yeah, R.I.P. Pop Smoke though. But uh, yeah, he made the Mary Jeans popular. Run DMC, Maya Adidas. They got a sponsorship for that song. When uh, when they saw how many people were dancing to the song, they got a corporate sponsorship. Okay, popularity leads to corporate sponsorships. Priorities for sponsorship include the particular field of culture, sports, or social welfare, clothing, shoes, perfume, and when they pay an artist to be a spokesman for cars. Marketers are considering brand name placement and song lyrics as a valuable option, which is motivating them to approach music artists with proposals for brand name placements. Now let's go over these seven strategies again. First, you want to have a marketing budget. That's why a lot of artists fail. They, they don't have the money to invest in themselves. You know, or they might not even have the time to invest in themselves. Time equals money. And that's the song I'm about to do in a few minutes. Okay? So you want to have a marketing budget. Social media. You want to be good on social media. You want to have like at least 10,000 followers on Instagram or more. You know? You want to have a lot of Facebook friends. You know? Uh, you know, you want to interact with the people on uh, Facebook, YouTube. You want to have the Twitter recording studio sessions. You got to have your own studio or have access to a studio. You know? Digital distribution. You don't want to sign up with CD Baby to get your streaming on, you know, Spotify, uh, TuneCore, DistroKid, Sound Exchange. If any internet radio stations play your music, you want to be able to get paid from that. Music licensing. You might be able to use your music on a on a movie, and they might have to pay you for that. Corporate sponsorships. You might get a Nike sponsorship. So this is Chaotic the King, Dr. K. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Spiritual Awakening University. Spiritual Awakening University. We'll be back at you live with this live performance. Hold on. Live performance, time equals money. Let's get into it. Number four, unleash the dragon. I'm in that powerful mode. I'm learning to 
rules and sticking to their G code. And I stay watching out for them freeloaders, thinking that they gon' get rich off me. Set a nigga up quick and try to double cost me. 17 when them niggas almost shot me. I'm a nigga with an attitude like easy. E. Smoking the best weed, nigga, please believe. Man of the house, and I'm feeling Money, so I'm doing the math. I get it in where I fit in. It was fun while it lasts. Focus on the future, can't forget about the past. No time for these games while I'm getting this cash. Time equals money, so I'm doing the math. I get it in where I fit in. It was fun while it lasts. Focus on the future, can't forget about the past. No time for these games while I'm getting this cash. And time is too big, got me feeling like I'm my kingpin. Starring in a major movie on the big screen. Love my life and myself, I'm my own best friend Fuck playing all the games, I'm a grown ass man Cause don't nobody got time for all that Cut them loose and let them go Bitch, it's a wrap But if you tap into your greatness and fly with me She said she wanna roll with that RPG So I keep it on the real, won't lie, you see It ain't nobody as fly as me My history ain't limited to February Aligning all my chakras like Osumene I like King Ted, I stay drip out in gold Put the pieces to the puzzle, I'm in the G mode Gotta keep all your own thoughts in control Put them weights every day till I get on swole Time equals money, so I'm doing the math I get it in where I fit and it was fun while it lasts Focus on the future, can't forget about the past No time for these games while I'm getting this cash Time equals money, so I'm doing the math Get it where I fit in, it was fun while it lasts Focus on the future, can't forget about the past No time for these games while I'm getting this cash Look deep in my soul, finding my own truth Lost my job, tell me what I'm gonna do I spent 30 racks on a franchise business I'm the CEO of this medical bill Still going hard When the odds are against me Scientists in the lab, I'm a critical thinker And I only got a few true friends Try to teach myself how to be a real man Gain wisdom through self-discipline Started off hustling, I was selling Instagrams Sounds awesome, my label, I'm staying independent Always G'd up, so you know I'm on that pimp shit Every second, minute, and hour of the day Represent West Side, South Central LA And you gotta watch it back every day Streaming every TV, and we gotta stay paid Ashe, 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 yo. Time equals money, you know what it is. Spiritual Awakening University. Thank y'all for tuning in. Till next time, it's Chaotic the King. One love.